still coming in 66 degrees on the track. Here is Johnny Gray and Leah Pruitt. John Kernan. John Forrest back in the staging lanes awaiting his first round matchup with Dale Creasy Jr. And John, I don't need to remind you what happened last year uh, when you lost to, to Dale in the, the first round. So have you double checked everything, make sure that car's going to back up for you after the burnout? Yes, the Ford engineer designed that thing, it'll never break again. Uh, we're ready. It's a national record out there. You know, the conditions are good, but it's also so cold it could be a shaker. It could be a tire pump. So we'll see what happens. Up against Creasy, good guy. Gonna give him a race. Let's see if we can start winning rounds today. We got this hot rod back. Uh, Ron Douglas, Tina Antonelli, they fixed it. So we'll see what today brings. Johnny Gray got his first ever number one start. There he is. Leah Pruitt's in the other lane with a debut. Now, I love these conditions. I mean, Tommy DeLogger says, no, we just raced the lane. I guarantee Alan Johnson was just racing the lane, and Del Worsham set a national record. up and spoke Johnny Gray is all over the place Melanie Troxel watches because that's her race car that Leah Pruitt is in Johnny Gray a 431 254 mile an hour pass the ball Melanie has driven it all from a top alcohol dragster winner to of course both nitro categories and pro mod as well tough to swallow right there but you had a chance to talk with Leah right before she ran how was she feeling you know Leah's a competitor she might be fairly new to the funny car class, but she's competed in other classes before. She knows what she's doing up here. She doesn't really need a lot of advice. Um, I see some similarities between the two of us. She was kind of, you know, calm, quiet, confident. So I kind of left her to her thoughts because I know that's how I like to be before my session. How painful to not be in that car this weekend. It's tough. And what makes it even worse is to watch the team struggle this much. I know this is her one shot this year and to see it go this, uh, this rough is hard for me too. Melanie will definitely be back though when we get to our next stop in Phoenix, Arizona. So let's go down the far end, check in with Gary. And with Matt Hagen, it was only a couple of years ago that you were a rookie funny car driver. You're alongside a raw rookie in Blake Alexander. Does that alter the routine whatsoever? Well, you never know what you're going to get. You know, Blake, he did a great job up there. Uh, he did a good job representing his sponsors and everything else. But, you know, for me, I was kind of like, man, let's see what the kids got. But, uh, you know, he did a really good job. Uh, everything was uh, legit. He, he brought the car on in there. And, and uh, you know, and that's how I race straight up. Try to anyway, unless I'm told otherwise. But, <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Uh, it, you know, it, it really is a good job for the guy. I'm, I'm proud to see new young guys out here like myself and, uh, you know, and, and Blake and everybody. It's what's going to grow this sport. So, uh, uh, for this diehard car, you know, we, uh, we we got a new look and a new feel, and hopefully we can uh, and look good and feel good three more times today. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. Matt Hagen certainly on a high. 